In this lab, we will continue to talk about SSO into Unix Linux systems using the Secure Shell protocol leveraging Centrify. In the previous video, we talked about how to get SSO but leveraging stock SSH and the GSS API. Um, but first, we need to talk about why we would choose to, to deploy the Centrify OpenSSH package. And the reason is very simple. Uh, some domain structures are complex, meaning that they have one-way trusts or cross-forest trusts. And the native uh, GSS API support in the stock SSH may not be robust enough to support those scenarios. That's why Centrify has uh, packaged OpenSSH with support for their, uh, the, their own uh, Kerberos libraries. And uh, the first step is actually to install OpenSSH. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do that in our CentOS machine. So I'm in my CentOS machine, already logged in as Jesse. And let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go to the temp directory. If you remember from lab, one of the earlier lab, we put all the, all, all the packages there. So all we need to do is, you know, this is a, a Red Hat type of platform. So we could do something simple as, you know, elevate and do RPM. Um, minus uh, UVH and then centrify DC in this case it would be uh, the open SSH package it's going to ask me to authenticate again uh, centrify has sudo hopefully I type my password correctly and that's it so um, this will start installation and one of the things that I'm going to do I'm going to explain to you what are the changes uh, in, in a, in a in this case, a Linux system, when you install Centrify OpenSSH. Uh, at the time of this, in, the, the, this uh, video, and in version 2013.3, which are the bits that I have, uh, the Centrify OpenSSH is based on uh, OpenSSH 6.2. Centrify does a good job at you know, keeping up with uh, uh, the, the versions of SSH. So let's go ahead and uh, now that it's installed, uh, let's take a look at some of the differences. First is location of binaries and the name of the services. So uh, let's start with the name of the services. So the name of the service, uh, you probably remember from before, it used to be called service um, uh, SSHD. Uh, you will notice that uh, that daemon is, is um, disabled and it's going to be substituted by a centrify um, SSHD. So that is that is actually the 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 Centrify daemon, and if you do a check config, and uh, and grab SSH, you see that it'll turn off uh, automatically the, the the stock SSH and will install and turn on the Centrify SSH. The other thing is the location of the binaries. The binary for the Centrify SSHD is located in the um, it's in user share centrify DC and it's under as Ben and it's SSHD as V there you go that is that is uh, the binary so if you're doing any debugging or it's it's important that you know um, uh, the location of the SSH that you're running uh, the other thing is the config file and this is really important so the config file that it's going to use is under Etsy uh, so let's do a more uh, etsy and I have to elevate uh, etsy centrify dc and it's this going to be an ssh folder and sshd config one thing that that uh, the setup won't do is to actually copy any keys that you may have for the purposes of ssh trust and things like that so what that means to you is that when you install that, things are going to break. That is a criticism that I personally have on the way, for example, the express package is set up. Uh, it, it automatically substitutes, you know, stock SSH for open SSH. And you never know what's on that file. So um, always, be, always be mindful of that. But if you understand that you don't need open, uh, Centrify open SSH unless need, uh, it's a complex scenario, you don't have to worry about that. So let's take it for a ride. One problem that we have is that uh, the uh, putty that we have installed here is just stock putty. So if we look at, uh, you know, 
maybe there's an about um, and let's go ahead and try and do this so if we do uh, the most important thing is notice that this is the the stock putty so if I look at on the SSH here the only authentication that is supported is GSS API so for that I have to install Center Finance Putty and you know we have the binaries in the app server and the files so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to run Putty installation but I'm going to do it as um, I'm going to do it as as Bryant because my user Jesse can't install any programs so and uh, we're going to do this installation so uh, let's go ahead and uh, I actually did a before an installation so we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, do a reinstall um, now that putty has finished the installation we're going to go ahead and close it let's close this folder and uh, the putty that I have in desktop is actually the old one. Um, if, if you look at the, uh, um, the uh, under SSH authentication, I only have GSS API. So I'm going to go ahead and, and open Centrify Putty. Um, you know, let's go ahead and make a shortcut um, over here. So let's send it to desktop. And I'm going to rename it. Let's Let's just call it Simplify Putty. And uh, what's the difference? The difference uh, is pretty much the same, um, but the only the only thing is that now we have support for uh, uh, for Kerberos. So when I look at uh, my um, authentication, um, now actually I have to open this one. Um, when I look at my authentication now I have uh, I have Kerberos available so I can go ahead and load my sessions the only thing I need to do to enable Kerberos is go down here and check attempt Kerberos so as you know from my previous exercise um, I have uh, a ticket granting ticket that is um, right here for uh, my client so you go Kerberos ticket granting ticket so uh, let's take a look at this so we're going to go ahead and connect and there you go we have a successful Kerberos connection look at the negotiation up, up top and, and that's it so I was able to log in through Kerberos and uh, this is very anticlimactic so you get more productivity out of this what is um, uh, the other thing that I can take a look at is let's just do a clear and uh, and uh, K list Let's take a look here. Uh, where's my ticket for, uh, in this case, send one. Uh, there you go, there it is. So, and and this is uh, SSO with Kerberos. Uh, you need uh, Centrify OpenSSH that you will only deploy if you have a complex uh, domain infrastructure, one-way trusts, uh, cross-forest trusts, and you need Centrify Putty, um, very simple. And uh, see you in the next lab.